Howdy cowdies. Welcome to a little weekly walkabout at the Collector. Got heaps of cool stuff to sell this week. We've got some great stuff. Some lovely old tins and things. How cool are the old anchovy paste pots and stuff like that. These are pretty cool. The Kiss Cards Complete Set of Series 1. Some nice old sort of cigarette advertising. The old Craven A there. So Walter Rally Tobacco and the Half and Half as well as a lovely old tobacco tin. Nice old banknotes. I like the two Lifesavers Money, but the Lifesavers Money Bank over the back is pretty cool. The Commonwealth Bank one as well. Some old footy cards, some die casts and things. Little box dinky Triumph TR7. Very cool car. Not very popular, but I really like those things. Anyway, we've got some nice, lovely furniture and stuff. Nice big Chippendale display cabinet there and a small little Queen Anne one here. Lovely little washstand with a marble top and some beautiful old tins. Nice little games table and little Dexter rocking chairs. Cute as well. That's some cool clothes and stuff this week actually. Some nice vintage ladies dresses and some leather jackets and stuff. Nice big pair of Morant speakers there. Got lots of cool stuff in boxes this week. Lots of nice box lots. The old red scooters are cracker. Here's the records and kids toys. This is pretty cool. The old coin counting machine down the bottom there. Those big foam Vic Bitter cans are actually dress-up things. You can jump inside them and run around as a Vic Bitter can. <laughs> it sounds like a bit of fun to me. Nice little fold-up screen there and some other cool stuff. There you go, it's an insincorator. Just when you think, you know, you saw you had everything apart as well as the kitchen sink. Some cool books and stuff, some old budgie, ephemera, bird life magazines and booklets and heaps of um, a complete set of the seafarers, all the time life books. Some nice little bits of artwork as well this week and some China Australian pottery and the Diana Nefertiti up the top there. Some cool board game, bit of Aussie footy, great game. Old Xbox, little portable typewriter there, some cool ladies accessories and stuff. Some more nice paintings this week, a lovely little Sweet and Distant. Some lovely things, little J.W.H. Grout, little British school, but he was a British artist. He worked over here in about 1890, 1900, something like that. There's a nice pair of Swinton Distant watercolours. They have a different name as well. He paints under a couple of, a few pseudonyms. These are another one. These are nice. We've got a couple of these big uh, European school oils. Ducks in flight there. Uh, signed Starberg. And another one here of the ducks before they took off. <laughs> I like this big thing as well, actually. The large thing there with the sort of seagull or the... A uh, little bird there in the rocky landscape. It is signed lower left. You can make out the William at the start, but it's impossible to make out the other, the surname, which is a bit of a bugger. But it's a nice big thing. Big British school thing, I think. And we've got some more cool stuff. The old camera's a ripper. There you go, a Viking helmet and a pirate mask, so you can, you know, best of both worlds. Cool old industrial phone. Lots of nice comic books and other kids stuff this week. Tonka truck there. Pretty cool list. The chicken decanter set. I think Aaron really likes that, actually. Man, this is the bloody biggest tennis racket I think I've ever seen. It's massive. It's about five foot tall. Some great, a couple of fantastic masks. Something sort of sadistic about that rabbit. <laughs> some more cool comic books and some other nice china and some lovely Australian ephemera. Really like the Grumpy Pig Money Bank. He's fantastic. Big potato eater, potato chips tins, a cracker as well. Nice big Griffiths Brothers tea tin. It's a nice sort of Belgian and other art pottery there. It's a nice Australian pottery up the top. More comic books. Lovely big tin again. Pookie's big day. I wonder what Pookie got up to on her big day. I think Pookie's a her. I don't know. Anyway, some more nice pottery. Lots of crested ware. Lovely little Baker White clock there. Heaps of pretty china and some nice chrome sort of retro stuff. Little Hudson aeroplane in the boat there, which needs a little mirrored base for it. Some more lovely, lovely tins. A big Australia Edwards Ensign tea. Tin, choice of Verity, choice prunes, finest joy mints, lovely big bushels tea tin over the back. Some really, really nice tins this week, guys. A nice big collection has just come in. Speaking of nice tins, a fantastic big Pascal fruit bonbons tin as a ripper. Really nice Craven A point of sale display in amongst there is cool as well. Sunny biscuit assortment with the paper labels, nice. Really like the big Rathjen vase over the back, actually. Stuff's sort of a bit over, or a bit underrated, I reckon. Really nice bit of 1960s Australian pottery. Does good stuff, Henning Rathjen. He never sells for much, though. Some more nice stuff. Lovely little Bakelite box and the Harry Mehmet Australian pottery bowls. Really nice. We like the Italian sort of charger there with the lion. And the cabinet plate over the back of the Empire State Building. 
a lovely little sort of art deco tin there, with a little bather by the river. The bear smoking tobacco tin, cerebral salt, variety wafers, lovely little bushels coffee and chicory tin. The big Griffiths caramints peppermint tin as a ripper as well. And these are lovely little Italian uh, Murano art glass woofer dogs. And I really like this uh, RAAF propeller clock as well. Lovely, lovely thing. We've got some great stuff in the auction this week, guys. Hopefully you saw something you liked. If you didn't, you know the score, bad luck. You probably won't see something next week either. <laughs>